Hey guys, welcome to My Tech Tips. Uh, basically, I've put together a bunch of tweaks um, for Windows 7. This affects your FPS, your frames per second, uh, general smoothness of gameplay, and it will decrease your connection time, your latency, your ping. So if you're getting some lag in some MMOs or something, this is going to help a lot. I'm not going to sit here for five minutes blabbering on about how amazing this is. I'm just going to go ahead and do it, and you'll see the difference yourself. So straight away, start type in reg edit r e g i d i t and it will bring up your registry for your windows um, go to system current control set services uh, just select anything and press t and scroll down a little bit you're looking for tcp ip click that and then down to parameters and then interfaces and what you're looking for in here uh, it could be in any of these you need to look for your IP address so for me my IP is in this folder here so this is my IP here if you don't know how to find your IP go to start type in a search field CMD hit enter and it will bring up the old school command prompt just type in here IP config IP con fig space forward slash all and hit enter and this will bring up a list of stuff you don't need most of it scroll up to the top and you're looking for your IP uh, v4 address and here's mine close that out uh, so in this, ignore that, in this box uh, what you're looking to do is create a new D word value. Um, so right click and go to new and then down to D word. It's D word for 32 bit operating systems. Um, I am on, sorry about that, I'm on 64 bit. So make a Q word, click new and you need to name this and it's case sensitive so you need to type in exactly how I do so it's TCP with a capital T TCP ACK C A K capital A frequency with a capital F just like that hit enter and what you're going to do is right click this go down to modify and you want to set a, a hexadecimal value there of 1 and click OK and right click again what we need to make now is uh, another value and you're going to name that TCP no delay capital T C P N lowercase o capital D lowercase the rest TCP no delay okay and what that does is it makes sure there's no delay for sending packets between you and your server so just close these blah 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 you don't have to close them you can just exit out but I like to do it close them uh, and that's done that's uh, stage one you will have to restart your uh, laptop or PC after these uh, tweaks by the way second one for connection go down to your uh, connection or Wi-Fi whatever it is you're using I'm using Wi-Fi at the moment open your uh, network control center up and go to change adapter settings find your connection right click on it and go down to properties you get a UAC thing pop up just say OK and you want to deselect QoS packet scheduler you just don't need it no one needs it click OK and close that and the next thing to do is go to speedguide.net okay just type it in your browser go to speedguide.net I've put a link in the description and you want to click on TCP optimizer so click on that and the latest version there is TCP optimizer v308 click there and it's going to download, it won't take very long because it's not very big open it up, install it, run it 
so it's open okay so what this does is basically tweak all those little settings um, on Windows that you can't really get to um, so you need to select what connection speed you have so if you don't know what connection speed you have just go to speedtest.net run the test and you'll see it should be 5, 10, 20, 100 meg whatever it is set it to whatever connection you have just for the uh, video I'm going to set it to uh, 10 doesn't really matter uh, for me and then go down and click optimal and you can see all the, the values here change click apply changes I'm not going to do it because uh, it's already been done on my laptop oh one thing before that you need to click modify all adapters and this changes the settings of your actual wireless device or your network card okay so click apply and then you need to go ahead and restart your laptop 